Hey guys, so today I am back with a new haul for you. Seriously, trying to film this video was such a challenge. My lighting that I use, I use like one large soft box to light the other side of my face and then I use natural light for like the left side. Anyway, the soft box literally, I don't know what is wrong with it, but smoke started coming out of it. And then I started recording and it did that thing where it's like, movie recording has been stopped automatically because I think my SD card was too full. I know this is really thrilling information for you guys, but we are finally here and I'm ready to film and I'm so excited. Here I've got all the things that I purchased on my recent trip to the United States. First up, I think I will begin with the beauty items. So on this trip, I really wanted to pick up some new fragrances. I did a whole bunch of research on cruelty-free fragrances because they're not the easiest thing to find, or if they are easy to find, the packaging just isn't as cute as I'd like it to be. So I literally looked up every single cruelty-free fragrance that was out there and you know, saw if I had a cute bottle because I wanna be able to put these on display on my vanity table. The first one I picked up, I feel like this is quite a popular cruelty-free fragrance. This is Abercrombie and Fitch perfume number one undone and it's still like wrapped up in its box because you know I'm always like gotta save it for the haul but now I realize you can't see the cute bottle so I should have just opened it but of course you will already be seeing it in the cutaways I'm definitely a sucker for sweet fragrances and things that just smell really just delicious the second fragrance that I got is one that I started using when I was still on my trip because I loved it so much. It's a fragrance by Ted Baker, and this one is from the Ted's Sweet Treat collection. This one is called Grace. It's an eau de toilette, and the packaging is so beautiful. This one is in this pale lilac color with the rose gold foil, and you just slide it open. Look at that. The perfect little travel-sized fragrance. This collection, has several fragrances and I also really liked the one called Stella, but this one was just a little bit different. On our long haul flight from Sydney to LA, we got chatting to the flight attendant. We were asking her questions about how she keeps her skin moisturized because obviously the airplane environment is so drying. And she was saying how one of her favorite things to use is a hydrating mist. I was really inspired by that idea. So was my sister, she got one of these too. So here we have the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. It's the kind of thing that you can just put on before you apply your makeup, but I would also just use this maybe even over my makeup if I just wanted to kind of make it feel a little bit fresher and a bit more moisturized. And the final beauty item that is kind of a new thing that I haven't tried yet, I have the Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink. I remember reading about this blush when I was looking up dupes for NARS blushes. And I do have another of the baked blushes. I got the one Luminoso a few years ago and that's really beautiful. And the last three items I'm not going to go into depth about because they are things that I probably already hold and things that I already own. I just kind of picked up extras. My, well, <laughs> nope, okay. First I have my favorite multi-sided nail file. This one is the Trim 7-Way Buffer and you can get these from Target in the United States. As you guys would know, I do use a glass or crystal nail file, but I do like to use the traditional style of nail file just to kind of um, do those final little bits of buffing when I am shaping my nails. I grabbed another Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer by IT Cosmetics. Mine is in the shade Light. They do sell these here in Australia, but it turned out that even with like the difference between the US and Australian dollar, it was still cheaper for me to buy this in America. So I grabbed one of those. I also picked up another one of these makeup brushes that I actually hauled in my previous USA haul. And after using it for all these months since, I found that it's really like my new favorite foundation brush. It is the IT Cosmetics for Ulta 
blurring foundation brush. The reason this brush is so good is because it can withstand the rigorous cleaning that has to go through because that foundation is buried so deep in the bristles. So if it can withstand that cleaning, I know it's a good brush. Before we move on to clothing and accessories, I just wanna get a couple of miscellaneous items out of the way. Of course, I had to go to the container store on this trip one of my happy places. I picked up this reusable waterproof kind of wet toiletry bag. And this is, okay, I don't have the packaging on it because I already used it on the way home, but on the inside, it has this waterproof kind of plasticky material. I'm doing an amazing job at describing this as you can tell, but yeah, it's fully lined with this waterproof material and it says that it's leak proof. Normally what I use for toiletries is Ziploc bags and I will actually reuse Ziploc bags for several years because I'll basically just use them until they break. But I think this is so much better having something that's really sturdy and it's machine washable. I have already washed it once and it came out really good. So yeah, I'm very happy with this bag. This item technically isn't a purchase, but I just had to show it anyway. It's just my medal from the Run Disney Tinkerbell 10K. The Tinkerbell 10K is obviously Peter Pan and Tinkerbell themed. And the 10K medal is actually pretty hefty. It has Peter Pan and the Lost Boys on it. It's just really cute. I just love these. Now I have two Run Disney medals. Maybe next I'll do the half marathon, who knows? Now moving on to clothing and accessories, which is probably the best part of the haul. Although I'm sure there's naughty ones of you guys who have already just skipped through the video to get to the clothing part anyway. So first up, I have this pink fuzzy keychain, and I really like that it has gold hardware because if it's pink and gold, obviously I'm going to buy it. <laughs> but yes, I think I might clip this onto one of my mini backpacks or a tote bag or something. If you watched my Montana vlog, you would have already seen this, but yeah. Next, I have some earrings from Nordstrom. They are sterling silver cubic zirconia studs and they have the gold plated base. My favorite type of earrings are really classic styles like these because they just go with everything. They just add that really subtle little touch of elegance. So yeah, very, very basic style, nothing groundbreaking, but I don't have this in my collection. Here I have another jewelry item. It's this choker from Bauble Bar. It's just your classic black velvet choker, but it has this gold toned star pendant. And I really like how it dangles down. I think it makes it a little bit unique. I also picked up this vintage brooch. So a character from a 2017 TV show wore this exact brooch. Any other clues? They just started filming season two. Did you get it? Let me know if you guessed it, but Cheryl from Riverdale wore this exact brooch. It is a vintage Sarah Coventry brooch. Obviously this isn't like the exact one she wore when they filmed it, but you know, I just looked up Sarah Coventry vintage Cherry's brooch and there was a whole bunch of them on Etsy. She is my favorite character on Riverdale. I love her look with like the nails and the hair and everything. And the actress who plays her is really cool because she's vegan. And I actually saw her when I was at Veggie Grill. I was like going into the elevator and she was leaving the elevator, heading into Veggie Grill as we were leaving. And I was just like, oh my God, it's Madeleine Petch. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't bother her or anything. She was with her boyfriend, but I thought that was very cool that I saw her. But then I actually tweeted about it that evening and she favorited the tweet, which was very nice. But yeah, now I just have to kind of think of some ways to wear this. Maybe I'll have to do like a Riverdale lookbook or something. I have another jewelry item. It's this castle ring that I picked up at Disneyland. It is a wraparound ring with the castle and a little gem underneath. Oh my gosh, I just realized in my previous USA haul, I got a ring from Disney World and it was that little crown ring. And I'm gonna say exactly the same thing as I said in that haul. I really like kind of merchandise from the Disney parks that I can wear with my everyday style. And I feel like this ring blends in really well with that. Do I really need more mini backpacks? No but it's just a plain black mini backpack with gold hardware. 
I don't have any mini backpacks that are made from a lightweight material. And the problem with that is that I'm less inclined to want to travel with them, but this is made from a super lightweight kind of, you know, nylon type of material and it folds completely flat. It's super light. So I think this will be a really great travel mini backpack to bring with me on my future trips. Now moving into the more kind of apparel section of the haul. First, I have this pale pink Kangol beret. It actually has a kangaroo in the logo, which is like, I don't know. I just find that so funny because I'm Australian, obviously. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like if I wear this, I'm gonna look super Aussie or something, but I don't think it's even an Australian brand. You can see me sporting it in one of my Instagram photos, which I will also insert here. By the way, if you can hear a rustling, it's because I like to keep the stuffing inside of it when I'm not wearing it. So it holds its shape. These next three items were sent to me by a brand called 125. They are based in New York City. They actually contacted me while I was in the US and offered to send me some pieces from their collection. So I was like, oh, definitely ship it to me while I'm here in the US because the shipping will be so much cheaper than to Australia. Everything is so beautifully made and has all these gorgeous details in them. It's super unique and it's so my style. Even the packaging is so cute and well branded. I'm definitely going to be keeping this and repurposing it for things like storage or travel. So we have this baseball cap with the laser cutouts in the head. And then here we have this t-shirt. The mascot is called Tomo, I believe. So this is the Tomo t-shirt, which has the laser cutout of Tomo's little face on the front and it's so cute. I can't wait to wear that one. They also sent over this blue Tomo sweatshirt. It's this sweatshirt with the little alien mascot embroidered. I love things with embroidery. So oh, everything's just so cute. And the swing tags and the woven labels, they're also beautiful. I love to support upcoming designers because if I can help at all to help promote their brand, that makes me really happy. This is totally not sponsored by the way, they just very generously sent me these pieces. So definitely go check out 125. I will link all their information below and I am really looking forward to styling these pieces in an Instagram post for sure. And also I'm gonna have to show you guys how they look in like a future lookbook or something. Second last item of the haul is something else I picked up from Disneyland and something else that I can't show in the frame for too long because it'll throw out the auto exposure, but I'll just sort of hold it up really quickly. <laughs> oh, there we go. It still did anyway. It is one of the Disneyland Spirit t-shirts. It has a logo printed on the front and then the big full Disneyland Resort logo printed on the back. Disney have really been stepping up their game when it comes to merchandise recently. And now we are onto the last item. Thankfully, as you can probably tell, the lighting has been slowly disappearing throughout this video. These are kind of like my big purchase for the trip and I've been eyeing them for a while ever since they first came out actually and I didn't think I'd end up getting them, but I did. <laughs> They are the Fenty Satin Bow Sneakers. They are seriously the cutest shoes I've ever seen. And I also got an extra 10% off because right before I was about to go ahead and buy these, I asked if I could have a new pair that maybe hadn't been tried on as much because these ones had a bit of a scuff on the toe, but he said they were the last pair and he would give me 10% off because of the little scuff on the toe, which was very, very nice of him to do that. So that was kind of, you know, the thing that sealed the deal for me. I was like, yes, it was meant to be. At least that's just what I'll tell myself. I've already worn them a few times and they go with so many outfits. So I'm very, very happy with this purchase. So that about sums up this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to look out for my upcoming vlogs that I took on this America trip where I got all this stuff. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me as always, and I will see you all in my next one.